I suppose put that question to you. Do you support this policy? It seems eminently sensible to me. Um, I don't think you can get much credit for it as the Tories, given the fact that it is just correcting a policy that they already put in place. Yeah. Um, I mean, the prospect of someone who is only really surviving on the state pension loan then having to be dragged into filling in complicated kind of tax returns and so on just doesn't make a hell of a lot of sense. Um, I get the generational angle to this, but at the same time, what's interesting is I think the vast majority of people want to make sure that pensioners are well looked after yeah. for. Um, and this seems to me a set sensible policy. Will it necessarily help them that much in terms of staying the losses? I think a lot of pensions will probably still with the Conservatives anyway. Um, but you can yeah. see that this is very much a core vote strategy now. We need to shore oh, up um, those kinds of voters rather than worry too much about trying to win over people who have probably lost to it. Yeah, yeah, but there's no yeah. doubt at all. I mean, I mean, far, far, far more pensioners uh, vote, or older voters mm -hmm. uh, vote than, than younger people. That's Hey, younger people, if you want people to care about you, you, you need to start turning out to vote and not just sending tweets. I mean, even like this whole policy, you know, to sort of register people to vote. Well, that's fine. You can register to vote, but if you ain't actually going to turn out to vote on the day, then I'm afraid it's not going to work very well for you. Yes, you do need ID. Let's remind everyone of that lots of times uh, ahead of this election. But it uh, seems to me, I mean, uh, my trouble with this is, yeah, our pension is much lower than many other countries. Mm -hmm. um, that's probably because I know people don't feel this way, but we pay a lot lower tax, income tax, than most of those other countries that have a much higher pension. We, we pay a vastly lower tax rate. We feel like we've got this massive big tax burden, which we do. But those countries that pay a much higher state pension do actually uh, uh, pay, charge, you know, basically that people are paying a lot more into it along the way. Um, but also... Um, my main thing with this is that I think the triple lock made sense when we'd seen the pension relative to earnings and wages go down massively. And I think the triple lock in terms of, you know, what is whether it's wage growth, inflation or 2.5 percent guarantee, whichever is higher, that's what pensions are going to get. Um, you know, there in a way that's kind of writing the historic wrong mm -hmm. of, of pensions having gone down relative to earnings. But the reality is there is more sort of poverty, such as we have poverty in this country in in among younger generations than older generations, um, and this is a this is a pensions policy which benefits better off pensioners. A quarter of pensioners in this country, largely the younger sort of boomer ones, um, uh, um, are, are, are have a million pounds worth of assets. Mm -hmm. um, you know, eighty percent own their own home. Do you think eighty percent of people your age own their own home, or will oh, ever own their own absolutely home? Absolutely not. I, th I think these are separate issues, though, and I think because when you're talking about any form of sort of social security, pensions has always been sort of foundational to that because of the fact that when you're older you can't, you know, weather the hard times in the same way you are if you are younger. Interestingly, even if you look at the polls, young people, 18 to 24 year olds, actually are more in favour of being generous to older people. So this that, idea yeah, that there's that a big generational divide because when it comes down to it, yes, young people are facing a big problem at the moment in terms of getting on the housing ladder, in terms of opportunities and so on. That should be tackled. But I think we all recognise that when it comes to creating a kind of safety net for people in the future, yeah. it tends to be older people we have in mind for that. Yeah. Um, and Whereas young people, they can go out to work. Exactly. And get... Here's the thing. When people are asked in polls, things like they say, like, oh, I really care about the yeah. saving the planet too. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if you said to someone, do you think that we should make sure that older people are looked after and pensioned? <laughs> the answer would be yes, because mm -hmm. you'd be a savage if you didn't, if you didn't think that. Um, if you say, given a choice, do you think there should be help given to pensioners who own their own homes mm -hmm. and were able to retire at 60 <clears throat> over you um, and or, or, you know, young families who can't own their own home and are paying back breaking rents or and paying back 50 grand's worth of debt for a degree which they were told would get them a good job and hasn't? I'm, I'm thinking those answers might not be the same. I mean, no way am I attacking pensioners. No mm -hmm. way I'm saying that poorer pensioners need more help. But yeah, we need to help poorer pensioners. A, this is, a, I mean, currently, currently under again yeah, this change, you tax um, the pensioners on just on the state pension don't pay any income tax on their pension. They don't. However, um, basically, the income, the current income tax threshold has been has ra was raised under the Tory Lib Dem coalition. Twelve, basically around the twelve thousand five hundred mark. The current state pension for one person is eleven and a half thousand. So, okay, mm -hmm. is that, but that pension will rise they expect by around £430 next April and then will rise again. Um, and the income tax threshold is going to be frozen because that's what Tory chances have been doing. Mm -hmm. You freeze the tax threshold, at which point more people get dragged into tax, whether it's being paying any tax at all or paying a higher rate of tax on the last bit of their income. Um, and that's when people get dragged into it. So to a certain extent, it's not a giveaway, is it? I mean, it's literally, it's your money. Yeah. We, we, we told you we weren't going to tax it so much, and now we're not going to tax it much. But the key thing here is, 
if the government is saying we don't think it's fair for you to be taxed at this income because it's such a low income. Mm -hmm. Why is it OK to tax people who are of working age of that income, who are less likely to own their own homes, more likely to have debts from uni or, or have children that cost money? I'm, I don't understand why, you know, 10 years ago, George Osborne took away that tax mm -hmm. benefit from pensioners. Now, whether rightly or wrongly, but I don't understand why. If there is a wage at which we say, well, you can't you can't live at that. You shouldn't be taxed at that rate. Why does that only apply to working age people and not mm -hmm. someone who's a day after getting their pension? Well, I think if we're getting down to that kind of fine grain, someone who's only earning 12 or so thousand pounds mm. a year off the state pension versus someone who's earning barely 12 or so thousand pounds mm. a year from money that they're making. Um, if you had to pick between the two groups, the retired people who have no other means of income, no That's other true. means of supplementing yep. that, do you really want those people to be suddenly Can't go and get a Saturday job, can Tax you? returns, they might never have filled in a tax return in their life. If tax they returns are bad enough for those who have to do them every year. Yeah. So in that situation, but I think it, it shows that when you get into this kind of very zero sum game, the kind of two and a half billion per year by the end of this parliament this is going to cost, is not going to single-handedly solve all the problems it's, afflicting it young is, people. It's money down the back of the sofa in the big scheme of things. Exactly. Terms, yeah. And I, I get the point about what about um, quite wealthy pensioners. The, the fact of the matter is, though, when it comes to policies like this, making them kind of universal is what tends to get you buy-in and support for them. Yeah. Um, and it also simplifies the system. So it's one of those yeah. things where even though it might feel um, that much of a kind of over-investment in people who really don't yeah. need it, this is how you get policies like this. I, I wonder if I'm in a minority on this one, especially <laughs> as someone of advancing years, shall we say, because I, I genuinely am really concerned about, about younger people's chances in, 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 and, and the ability to ever own your own home and to, and to just to oh, be financially problem. secure. I mean, it's a huge, huge issue. It's not a zero-sum game, It is a zero. This is it. It is. When there's only a certain amount of money to be spent or given away or given back to people in this case, um, I mean, then then it is as if you can spend it on this or you can spend it on that. Well, who do you choose? I mean, again, for me, it's things like I can't bear things like Labour policies on, you know, free school meals mm -hmm. for, for, for all children at primary school. It's like, yeah, or, or, you know, whether that's, I can't remember who was it, it's, um, uh, Sadiq Khan policy. I mean, why on earth would, it, would someone on my income need my kid mm -hmm. to be fed for free? It's absurd. I mean, it's absurd, and it's it's. I mean, I don't think most people. I don't. I think only a very tiny percentage of people need to have their but kids God, fed for free. But you're on your kind of zero sum point. The issues that are affecting young people are kind of structural issues in the economy. The fact that we're not building enough yeah. houses. The fact that um, the kind of jobs we have are quite low wage, particularly so when you enter the market. So the tax benefit thing is kind of neither shuffling nor around. How much you know um, public spending? Yeah, well, if you all stop spending money on Starbucks and avocados, no, it'll be fine. <laughs> then everything. <laughs> we're so a few cancelled Netflix subscriptions uh, away from, from owning a mansion. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I, it, is, it is an insult. That that said, I am always amazed by how many people I know who moan about not having any money, and you see them with like a sandwich from a, you know, a sandwich that costs six <laughs> quid and a uh, and a cup of coffee that costs four quid. You go really, Coming, you know, worried worried about your finances. Sorry, I'm getting old, everyone. Let's